Vlog number 325, Tuesday, October 15th, 2024, 9, 12 a.m. All right, it's 10.51. I just moved to the UC. This is my first time picking up the camera. Um, I'm sitting in a different spot today. If you look to my right, I'm at the wall spot. Normally, it's either going to be I'm sitting at the wall spot first seat or when I look to my right, you see the door. Um, I see a wall. Unfortunately, there's somebody in the first seat, so I moved to the second seat. That's where I'm at. I'll put a picture on the screen. Just got out of class what I did today. I got up really, really late at 9.12. But before that, at 7 o'clock, Michael's alarm went off. And he didn't turn it off. It was on for like five minutes. I thought he was going to get up. He never did, so I had to go turn it off. So I did that at 7.07. .07. Went back to bed. Got up at 9.12. I was stunned when I got up. I was like, oh, man, I, I got to get ready or I'm going to be late. So I quickly got dressed. Turn on the prices right. They were playing the balance game for a trip to Seattle. The person won it. So that was cool. That was the only game I watched. I then left at 9.19, got to class very early, usually, way earlier than usual. It was like 9.25, so really good to get to class early. We just did a ton of thing on volcanoes. I'll put a picture of what the in-class assignment was. Um, I just sat there for an hour and 20 minutes. We just went all over all sorts of volcano stuff, talked about the Yellowstone volcano, stuff like that. And then the class ended at 10.47, so I am now here at the UC 10.50 with the plans going to be. I'm going to sit in here until about 11.40, maybe edit the next vlog, listen to a podcast, I don't know. But at 11.40, I'll go to the dining hall until 12.30, and then my next class will start. All right, it's 11.42. I just got done listening to two podcasts. I listened to uh, one of the podcasts I'll put on the screen with Sam Hurd. He didn't talk about the Grizz in this one, unfortunately. And then the other one, it was the Colter Nuanas podcast where he literally went over it was the montana football hour so i literally just got done listening to that at 11 40 so i'm now gonna head to the dining hall probably eat some pizza and a breadstick and then i'll head to my final class i guess not final class my second class all right it's 1 50 just got out to the oval got done with my class at 1 35 i ended up leaving the dining hall at 12 17 i just had what i normally do a piece of pizza and a breadstick with some coke sat in one of the booths um got to class we did a presentation today or I meant the word starting with the student presentations. It was uh, the presentation on Venezuela. Um, during that presentation, I played a game of World Basketball Championship because that's a game I can play and listen at the same time. I made it to the finals, and I actually ended up playing Canada, which is always a matchup I like. And I ended up winning it 5-4, so I was champion. Got done playing that. Then I started playing some sports head basketball or football. It was the soccer version. I only played three games of that because uh, the class ended at 1.30. And I was just going to say, I went to the bathroom in the journalism building for the first time ever. The bathroom is super, super nice. I think that's the nicest bathroom I've ever seen on campus. And it's in the journalism building of all places. So that was pretty cool when I moved out to the Oval. It looks like they were doing some like thing with tables. I thought there was a horse. I don't know what was going on, but I, apparently I missed it. Oh, well, I guess what I'm going to do is my next class starts at 3 o'clock. So I'm going to start here for an hour editing the next vlog i guess i'll probably finish it i mean there's not that much time left that's the goal and then i will go to my final class the different three to four twenty i had a feeling something like that was gonna happen i took that photo of the people walking around everybody sitting here they wanted me to do some swab thing like help save a life or something i, I said i didn't really like doing that kind of stuff so they walked on they're asking literally everybody sitting here i knew they were gonna do that man those people that run those organizations, you're not supposed to walk around to people in the Oval doing this. You're supposed to ask people walking by. Come on, man, really? People are trying to work out here. You can't be interrupting them. Come on, man. It's 2.25. See, for about 20 minutes left. Um, I'm currently editing the vlog where um, the Tropicana is being uploaded, so that's the part I'm at, so there's not that much longer to go in the vlog, about 10 minutes. I just got asked by yet another person in this class just get started already so I can leave the oval. Plus I'm getting really hot and for some reason there's like spiders everywhere. I don't know why. We have the seat is I've seen like five spiders on this seat. For whatever reason. But I don't want anybody else to ask me. Alright, it's 2.45. I just got done editing the vlog at 2.40. I'm going to wait to get it in my camera roll till class starts. So I'm not just pointlessly sitting here waiting for it to get in my camera roll. Um, I'm now going to walk to my intro to media class from 3 to 4.20. Um, get that class done and enjoy the rest of the day. All right, it's 4.20. I just got out of class. Well, actually, 4.16. You may notice I'm sitting on the oval. And before I tell you, though, what I did in class, I sat in my normal spot. Fourth seat from the right in the very back. 
Um, we just walked, went over, we didn't even go over Barbie or anything. We just went into the next topic, which was sound. And then we watched a ton of different videos on sound. It was really, really boring. So I'm glad that class is over now. Um, but a lot of the college football games, there's actually three college football games today. Can you believe that? Three on Tuesday. A ton of NHL games. Um, what I'm going to do here is sit here um, and make the practice bets for today. I already started a little bit, but I need to finish by five. Then when I'm done with that, I'll go back to the room. Take a shower and begin the night. All right, it's 4.39. Just got done making the practice pass. There's some volleyball going on behind me, so I'm going to get out of here now. Go back to the room. Um, maybe take a shower now, or maybe I'll wait 20 minutes. I'm really not sure. Man, these, boy, these are my pants up close. That's a lot of detail, and you put it right up to your pants. It's pretty cool. I'm going to start now. Back through my go. All right, it's 4.46. I just got back in the room. Michael was not in here, so that's good. When I walked by the shower, there was somebody in it, so I'm just going to sit in here until 5 o'clock for 15 minutes, and I'll hopefully go there, and there'll be nobody in the shower this time. All right, it's 5 o'clock. I just started uploading the video, so that's a huge thing to get that out of my camera because it was literally an hour-long vlog, so I got that uploaded while uploading right now. Now I'm going to take a shower. Hopefully the person that was in the shower is now no longer there 15 minutes ago. I just kept it on um, CBS. They were doing the Montana news. They said that there was a bear on campus. That's pretty cool. I wish I would have saw it. But I'm not going to go take a shower. And then once I get out, come back in here, make the waffle, and watch the college football game. You know, this is a random thing to record. Somebody broke the toilet. Are you kidding me? How do you break that, man? You know, you got to be kidding me. Somebody broke this. It wasn't me, I promise. I guess I'll just put that there. How do you break that, man? 6.07, just got back. Uh, yes, that time is correct. I was in there way too long. Way too long. I mean, an hour? I mean, I guess it's not exactly an hour because it takes time to walk down there and whatnot, but that's still a long time. I guess if it's, um, what's good about it is it gives me something to, um, what am I even saying? It gives me something to do now because instead of having to, I don't know what I'm talking about, man. I'm going to make the waffle now, watch the Troy South Alabama game. There's three games on tonight, which is really exciting. One that started at 5, one at 5. No, one one, at, one started at 5. Th Let me go look. There's this game, then there's a battle between Kennesaw State and Middle Tennessee State with a combined record of 1 and 10. I'm not going to be watching that one. Unless, of course, it gets close. And this one's South Alabama 3. Not that I'm going to be watching until 7 o'clock. I'm going to make the waffle. I mean, it's still good. It's 6.12. I just warmed it up. I had to unplug the mic right because once again, it didn't work. Today I'm using a plastic fork so we can cut through the waffle because the other fork I used for spaghetti still has spaghetti stuff on it and I obviously can't wash it. Um, the good thing about this time is I have butter and syrup. Last time I didn't have anything else, but now I can add butter, syrup, and eat the bacon as well. So it's going to be the dinner for today. I'm going to put the butter on and then I'll show you putting my syrup on. All right, I just put the butter on. It's now time to add the syrup. Here we go. Yeah. I don't want to add too much syrup, so... That'll be good. I almost used all of it, but there's still some left if I need it for something else. There it is. Hopefully I can eat this with the fork. Here's the dinner for today. Waffle bacon, some lemonade. Other news, first quarter just ended. Nobody's really doing anything. South Alabama lead, three nothing. Surprisingly, this fork cut really well. I got a perfect square covered in syrup. Let's see if this still tastes good. Mm -hmm, there we go. It's a little cold. I need to put that in the microwave some more time. That's that's too cold. You can taste how cold it is. Microwave. Let's try this again. A little bit hotter, but still pretty cold, I feel like. Or maybe it just won't taste very good. Who knows? It's breaking into pieces now. Come on. Here we go. It's a little bit better when it's hotter, but still, for some reason, this doesn't taste as good. I'm still gonna eat it all, though. It's dinner for today. It's 641. I just got done eating the waffle. It wasn't the greatest, but the bacon was really, really good. Bacon was good. Um, I'm gonna start listening to the Grizzly Coaches so for 20 minutes, watching the South Alabama game, and then at 7 o'clock, I'll make popcorn, poop for the bed. How about this? Troy is struggling mightily. They just got a safety because they snapped it out of the back of the end zone. He had four total yards. What a disaster for Troy. I was just gonna say, though, um, my stuff is starting to be graded. My um, midterm is starting to be graded. It's going to go question by question, I think. So I'm going to see what 
I at least got for the first question. Come on, let's see. Am I off to a good start? A three out of 27. Oh man, that means I got a three out of five on the first one. That means I got a three out of five on question number one. Oh man, this is unfortunate. I've just burnt the popcorn. I put it in for two minutes. It didn't pop up at all for whatever reason. So I kept putting it longer and longer and it started to finally pop up, but it ended up burning, which is a complete disaster. Now the room smells like burnt popcorn. So I had to open the window, put the bag out the window. So it, that's just unfortunate, man. The popcorn actually did what it was supposed to do this time. It actually popped up. There's the popcorn right there. Hopefully that makes the smell go away. Oh, it looks like the Louisiana Tech makes their state game came on. It's 7 12, just moved to bed. Troy's finally on the board with a field goal. It's about to be halftime. Got my popcorn, got some of my candy here, got my snacks, and got my drink as well. Um, I didn't mention this, but um, when I reorganized yesterday, everything, I started using this long black cord. And what I now do is instead of having my uh, phone literally right here on that board, I just put it under my pillow because the cord is so long, it reaches all the way under my pillow. That's how it's going to go now. But um, I'm going to continue listening to the Grizz Coaches show. Not Coaches show, the actual broadcast. Maybe until halftime. There's not that much longer until halftime comes. And then I will probably start editing the next vlog. How about that? Third top five matchup in four weeks. I hear that um, the NCAA is reviewing a loophole. And I think they're going to talk about it here. Yes. Oregon is definitely the more impressive win. Oregon beat Ohio State. That is a huge win. That's very impressive. Texas beat Oklahoma. Nicely done, Dan Mullen. You made the right choice. Right here. Of the sport for sure. All right, mention now that it's interesting. Up, uh, it's 818. Michael yeah, just walked in. I don't know where he just went. He just left. But now Michael is well, not like he apparently was at the river, so that's what I know. So he's now here. So I'm probably gonna have to not pick up the camera as much. It's 828. Michael just went to take a show. He just called Chris. Apparently, Chris is coming here now in like 30 minutes. So that's terrific. Doesn't make me happy at all. Now I got now someone actually has to be here. Still watching the Troy game. They're getting blown out. Boy, not even close. It's 946. I haven't updated you in a while. After the Troy game ended, I turned it to the Kennesaw State game. Kennesaw State's offense continues to be a nightmare. They score five points. Their offense is just atrocious, man. They fall to 0 and 6. When that game ended, I turned it to the ESPN app because Fubo doesn't have ESPN. You New Mexico State and Louisiana Tech. 17-14 the score in this game. Michael was listening to music on the speaker, so I told him to play something good. He told me what I want. I said I want Avicii Levels. And he played Avicii Levels. That was the only song he doesn't know on the speaker. He now left. He said he was going down he said he was going down to the lodge with Chris. I don't know what else he's gonna do, but for right now, I'm I'm free.
Uh, I think what I'm going to do is record the news, because I guarantee this game's not going to end in like 10 minutes. And I'm going to start editing this vlog as well, because I, now I can do this. No way, the kicker's name for Louisiana Tech is Buck Buchanan. Are you kidding me? What a name! Buck Buchanan. It's unbelievable. It's past 10, so I recorded the news. I just got a I just got a message from Michael, though, that he said he's going to watch a movie with Molly later. And I asked, is it going to be in here or somewhere else? And I really, really hope it's somewhere else, because if that it is somewhere else, I'm free for, like, two hours. And I really hope it is. Touchdown Louisiana Tech with five... That speaker thing keeps saying ready to pair. Why does he keep saying that? Drew Edwards gives Louisiana Tech a 23-17 lead with five minutes to go. I really hope Michael's not going to be watching the movie in here. I really hope he's not. And I also just saw he had his notification silenced, whatever that means, so he might not even get that text. I don't know why he has it silent. I'm starting to get a really bad feeling that he does me in, in here because why else would he text me that? He would just go watch the movie. He doesn't ever tell me where he's going, but the fact he texted me that, I have a feeling it's gonna be in this room, and honestly, I legit might go out to the car or something, because I don't wanna be in there for two hours. I mean, just think, that legit could be a possibility. I legit might be going out to the car later tonight, because I do not wanna be in here if they're gonna watch a movie for two hours. Maybe the greatest names in all of sports Pig Cage just got ejected for targeting. The guy's name is literally Pig Cage. His name is Pig. That is the greatest thing ever. This New Mexico State Louisiana Tech game is going really late. It's 10:30, and it might go even later because New Mexico State just scored a touchdown. They're now an extra point away from tying this game with under two minutes to go. We might have extra football in Los Cruces today. Louisiana Tech was facing a third and 15 on this drive, and they end up getting it. They go all the way down the field. They spike the ball. It's going to be up to Buck Buchanan. With three seconds to go to win it, there is nobody in this building. Man. There is literally nobody there. It's only a 26-yarder. Here we go. For the win. Blocked! And we are going to overtime. It's blocked from 26 yards, and it's not over yet. Wow. Unbelievable. And we got free football. Wow, from 27 yards. It is blocked. I can't believe it, man. I cannot believe it. The kick was blocked. That's unbelievable. That would have been the game. Unbelievable is right from 26 yards away. Crazy. New Mexico State lives to fight some more. The coin toss It's 11 on 2. Michael and that Chris guy came back. Michael said he's going somewhere to watch the movie and he's not even started yet. If it's an hour and a half movie like they all are, 
they ain't gonna be back till like 12 30 one o'clock uh, you just saw the recordings new mexico state wins it in double overtime so louisiana tech goes from having a 26 yard ship shot field goal to winning to win the game and they end up losing in double overtime that's gonna do it at 11 o'clock since that's over now i can now go to the dvr and watch the news i'm glad i recorded it and once again there's no foul here i don't know why there it is the news at 10 one episode aired october 15 2024 that's today even when it's late i still watch the news let's do it yeah i never knew you could record things on fubo that's such a cool feature and here we go nbc montana live at 10 that's awesome it's 11 39 the news is just ending interestingly enough they didn't even talk about anything sports related jimmy fallon's coming on i could delete that now uh, i'll delete it later um see if there's any movies on right now I honestly don't know why I'm going to watch Incredibles 2. 20 minutes left. Interesting. No way. Oh, man, man. This is why you have to look what's on TV. Dodgeball is literally on. Are you kidding me? Well, I know what I'm watching until 12 o'clock. Dodgeball, a true underdog story i can't believe this is on and i didn't even look i literally from now on every time i turn the tv and i'm going to look what comes on here come the globo gym purple cobras and this movie is so so good i really wish i would have watched earlier but honestly there was something to watch so i can't be mad because it's like i watched the college game and i watched the news and it just ended. I mean, if I, I mean, man, I bet Dodgeball comes on again later tonight if I honestly wanted to watch it. You said I get to watch it for 20 minutes. It's so cool seeing that average Joe's yellow and red and that Globo Gym purple and black. Can't believe I'm watching Dodgeball. It's always a good day when Dodgeball is on. Always. Chuck Norris says they can play. And we will have a championship match after all. It is sad that I missed most of Dodgeball, but at least I get to watch the championship match. It's probably one of the best scenes of the movie. Average Joes versus Globo Jim. Let's get this thing going. Not gonna get anything, but hold on, his foot was on the line, and we're gonna continue playing dodgeball. I need to go to Wendy's and try this, like the Krabby Patty. I mean, they literally have a Krabby Patty at Wendy's. I gotta go there and see what that tastes like. <laughs> nice. I do like how I've seen this movie so many times, but I just have to record certain scenes just to put in the vlog because it's like, it's just such a good movie. It's almost over too, which I would have would loved to watch all of it, but that's not unfortunately not going to happen. Coming at you. Yeah. And Average Joe's wins. Down goes Goodman. Down goes Goodman. One of my favorite lines in the entire movie. Unlikelihood. This movie's so good. It's 12.05. The credits are rolling. Dodgeball is ending. Ah, oh, that movie's so good. I'm gonna watch Hell's Kitchen now, or Kitchen Nightmares, whatever one is on. Chuck Norris. And that's it for Dodgeball. That was awesome to watch Dodgeball for the past 20 minutes. I'm now going to watch, well, whatever is on either Hell's Kitchen or Kitchen Nightmares. Looks like it's going to be Kitchen Nightmares. From Flamingos. This is the one that burns. 
or I meant not burns, but um. And I do not get along in the kitchen because we don't really communicate very well. See, I, I don't want to watch that. I would rather watch Hell's Kitchen right now. And there it is, right there. Season two, man, we're going like throwback here. Season two, day four. This is like two thousand and like six or something. Yeah, look, it doesn't even fit the screen. That's how old it is. And look at it where this is. This is a different location. This is weird. I don't know how I feel about this, man. I found out that you can like favor a channel. Bam! There it is. Now that's gonna show up at the top. No. Why is the handlebar episode always on? Well, I'm going back to Fubo, and I guess I'll be watching Kitchen Nightmares there. Man, I've never seen this Kitchen Nightmares. It's Casa Roma's. Looks like she just fired one of the guys. She just said, we're going to part ways. The guy said, okay. So it looks like that she just fired somebody. Looks like it was the chef. Wow, guys, this is crazy. I was just looking back at some of my old photos. October 15th, which was yesterday, which is still technically today, but... It's actually now the 16th, but today, one year ago, I went to the Preacher Lawson concert at the Wilma. I, it's so weird how one year later, I'm in such a completely different mindset. How can one year make this big? I remember I was like depressed last year going to these concerts. I was like, oh man, this is just, this life is awful. And now... Right now, my confidence is, I mean, I still kind of feel like that sometimes, but I have a way, it's like, I have so much more confidence this year that things are going to turn around than last year was like, oh man, I'm not going to do anything. Now it's like, okay, now I feel a whole lot more confident and not as depressed. It's just so weird what a, di what a difference a year makes. It's crazy. All right, it's 1242. The Kitchen Nightmares episode just ended now. They're doing a revisiting one, and I don't really want to start a new one, so I'm just going to turn the TV off now. Um, it's close enough to 1 o'clock where it's not too early to turn the TV off. So I'm going to turn the TV off now, and that'll be the vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I will see you tomorrow. 1, 2, 3. I should probably count down. 3, 2, 1. The TV is now off. That'll be the vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I will see you tomorrow.